Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today we're talking about jailbreaking. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 reasons to why you should jailbreak your iPhone in 2020. Now, jailbreaking has been around for quite a few years, basically since the beginning of the iPhone. And of course it has seen better days than now. Nowadays, not a lot of people jailbreak their devices, mostly because a lot of people misunderstand jailbreaking. A lot of them think that it's like risky to jailbreak their device. They just jailbreak to get like free apps and free in-app purchases, but that's not really the case. Jailbreaking is a lot more. Of course, it's focused on bringing new features and basically bringing out the full potential of your iPhone. There are a lot of things you can do with your iPhone on a jailbroken device. And of course, the new features are way ahead of Apple. Usually with jailbreaking, you will get features like the dark mode that we got on iOS 13 that has been on jailbreaking for years now. So in this video, I will focus on 10 main reasons on why you should jailbreak your iPhone in 2020. Starting off with iCleaner Pro. Now on your iPhone, you will get a ton of like files that will just stay there and will of course just take up space on your device unnecessary files, junk files, all that stuff. And there is no way to clean them on your iPhone with iOS. But with jailbreaking iCleaner Pro, this has been around for years now. It allows you to basically free up space on your device while just removing the junk from your device. The files you don't need, but they're just there and taking up space on your device. So this is iCleaner Pro, very, very simple to use. You can go ahead and tap clean to go ahead and immediately clean anything any junk files or you can tap analyze and what this will do is will show you basically analyze your device and show you how much space it will be able to free up on your device now this device right here has recently been restored so that way it shouldn't find a ton of like files to delete but either way it will find some so we have here 129 megabytes that it can free up on my device even though this has been restored like a week ago so if you have a device that you had around for like without restoring for like a year or more then probably there will be gigs of files that iCleaner Pro will be able to free up on your device this is one of the main reasons that you should jailbreak your device in 2020. Now with iOS 13 Apple has brought the dark mode to iOS but of course, it has been around for quite a long time on jailbroken devices. But with a jailbroken device, you can add extra features to this dark mode. So on the dark mode on iOS 13, you have the ability to manually turn it on or off. You can also set it at automatic, but that will only turn it on at nighttime, turn it off at daytime, or you can just set a custom schedule like an hourly schedule but with a jailbroken device you can have this basically adapt the ambient that you're on just like the brightness of your device if you have your brightness at automatic it will turn down when you're on an environment that the lights are lower and it will turn up when you're out on the sunshine with a tweak called lights out this will also do that to the dark mode so you go in on a room where there's no not a lot of light it will automatically turn on the dark mode using the ambient light sensor i don't know if i can do it right now but let me just cover the sensor here as you can see right there it automatically turned on dark mode remove it it will automatically turn on light mode just like that light out will automatically turn on dark mode or light mode based on the ambient that you're on now something very very weird that apple has done with the control center on ios is removing the ability to turn off completely wi-fi and bluetooth directly from the control center so you turn it off it will just stay gray that means that the bluetooth or the wi-fi are disconnected but they are still on you won't have the ability to completely turn them off directly from the control center but if you install real cc which is a free tweak that you can install from cydia you will have then the ability to completely turn off or on of course the bluetooth and the wi-fi directly from the control center without having to go into the settings app now apps manager is another jailbreak app that will add the ability for you to back up your apps so you have apps installed on your device you will have the ability to just like you do to your device back up their data you can back up your apps data so you go 
to any of the apps and right here you will have the ability to back up the data of that app just tap backup right here choose back up the data right there as you can see it will back up the data of that app and then if you delete the app or later on you want to reinstall it and you want to have back your data you just go to this app you go to backups right here and you will have the backups right there all the backups of that app that you have done you tap right there and then you will be able to go ahead and restore that backup if you have reinstalled the app other reasons you should jailbreak your device in 2020 are like smaller jailbreak tweaks that will basically enhance ios add extra features and make ios a lot of ways better than it already is so for example on the settings app if you go on the settings app you will have a long list of apps that you have installed from the app store and also apps that are pre-installed on your device you will have a long list there but you can organize them using a tweak called preference organizer 2. now what this does it will just basically add three different sections on your device so you will have the system apps then you have the tweaks and you will have the app store apps so you go there you have the app store apps you have the system apps right here you don't need to have that long list of apps on your settings app and sometimes it's really really hard to find one of them if you need to so basically preference organizer 2 organizes your settings app and you can just go ahead and rename like the sections and of course you will have all the apps there organized and it will be very very easy to find any one of them also very very important for like devices with a notch the iphone 10 and newer you know that it's a bit of a struggle taking a look at the battery percentage you will have to go to the control center in order to see how much battery you have left but with the jailbroken device you can install a tweak called half and what it does it just adds the percentage right there on the battery indicator so that way ios of course will be better with this tweak you don't need to go to the control center in order to view the percentage of battery you can have it right there of course apple could implement this themselves just like a small number there indicating the percentage of battery that we have left also siri doesn't need to take up the whole screen of the iphone with a tweak called little called small siri you can have siri just at the top right there as a banner so if i open siri you can see right there at the top that siri and you don't need to have it covering all the screen of your iphone you can have it just right there at the top and of course all the function everything remains the same as it was before but now it's enhanced and it looks much much better and doesn't have to take the whole screen of your iphone Another reason you might want to jailbreak your iPhone in 2020 is getting newer features on older iOS versions. So if you have an iPhone that doesn't support iOS 13, but you want to have the dark mode, then you can install Eclipse dark mode for iOS 12. So you can get like features from newer iOS versions into older iOS versions. In the case when your device doesn't support that newer iOS version, of course you can have the, the newer features on your device like Eclipse here, which will bring the dark mode. Or the tweak called 13 hood, which will bring the iOS 13 volume hood to iOS 12 and older devices, iOS 11 and iOS 12. So if you have like an iPhone 6, doesn't support iOS 13, but you want to have that new volume hood, you can do that using this tweak called 13 hood. With iOS 13, you know that you can now change between different wi-fi networks and bluetooth devices directly from the control center so with all the devices of course you cannot do that on ios 12 and ios 11 you will have to go to do that within the settings app but on a jailbroken device you can have a tweak called weather wane which will basically just bring that feature and it has been here even before ios 13 will bring that feature to ios 12 and ios 11 so if it, again you have an older device you can get this tweak and have that awesome ios 13 feature on your older ios 12 or ios 11 device you can also get like features of newer iphones into older iphones like here on the iphone se i can have all the iphone 10 and newer gestures so the gestures from the iphones without a home button can be brought into an older iphone of course that has a home button so i can swipe here to go to the app switcher i can swipe here to go home and of course i can bring down the control center from there i will have the shortcuts here 
on the, on the lock screen so pretty pretty cool you will basically have all the features like all the gestures that you have on the iphones without a home button on an iphone with a home button and that's using little little 11 which is a free tweak that you can get from cydia and last but not least is of course customizing the device with ios you cannot really customize your device it will basically have the same device as everyone else your home screen your lock screen will look the same as everyone's else but with the jailbroken device you can have a tweak like snowboard which allows you to add themes to your device so you can see my icons look very different from the stock icons of ios and you can do that with snowboard so you install it and then you go ahead and go to the settings of the tweak and from here go to select themes these are themes that you can download from Cydia. so you download a theme you come here you enable it and then you will have those icons implemented into the home screen of your device so here i have this one called emuri which is really really beautiful and you can see how cool the icons will look totally different and of course your device will stand out from all other iphones which basically look all the same so snowboard customize your device of course there are a lot of other tweaks that allow you to customize like lock plus that allows you to customize the lock screen and make your device stand out and look really really different so that is it for this video guys these are 10 main reasons that i believe you should jailbreak your device in 2020 of course i'm not saying go ahead and do it but if you want to if you want to have all these cool features the customizations and of course all the stuff that jailbreak brings you can go ahead and do that now with check rain you can jailbreak devices up to the iphone 10 you can jailbreak all devices on every ios version so only iphone 10 and lower so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it go ahead and leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one